Bitcoin is back up. The crypto bulls are running and Bitcoin is nearing its all-time high. I'm Kalila Reynolds, financial journalist and educator. Bitcoin investors are probably feeling good after the cryptocurrency once again broke through the 60,000 US dollar mark. Bitcoin is up 47% since the start of the year, trading at just over 65,000 US dollars as I'm recording this on March 4. Yep, that means one Bitcoin costs over 65,000 US dollars. That's crazy, especially when you consider that Bitcoin prices fell to around 16,000 USD during crypto winter just last year, after peaking at almost 68,000 in 2021. So what's causing this latest rally? Well, it's several things working together. For starters, the launch of Bitcoin ETFs made the cryptocurrency more accessible to investors. ETF is short for Exchange Traded Fund. Think of it as a basket. It has a bunch of different things in there. You have stocks, you have bonds, you have gold, uh, Bitcoin, all in one. And it gives investors exposure to various securities without having to buy each individual thing. You just buy the whole basket and whatever is in it. So Bitcoin ETFs give investors exposure to the cryptocurrency with less risk. A spot Bitcoin ETF gives ordinary investors exposure to the price moves of Bitcoin in their regular brokerage accounts. Now, the United States recently gave the green light to several Bitcoin ETFs, so the price has steadily been on the rise. Now, last week, spot Bitcoin ETFs had record daily inflows, but at the same time, the amount of Bitcoin held on centralized exchanges fell to a new low. So essentially, the demand for Bitcoin, due mostly because of the new ETFs, is more than the supply of the cryptocurrency available in the market. And we all know how the rules of supply and demand go. Greater demand with limited supply means higher prices. Cue Bitcoin's latest rally. And some analysts are expecting Bitcoin to set a new record this year because another halving event is coming up. What is halving? Bitcoin halving is an event that is written into the Bitcoin code. It cuts the amount of Bitcoin that can be mined in half. And I have a whole video dedicated to Bitcoin halving that you can check out. The next halving is expected to take place next month, April 2024. So this will limit the supply even further. And that's the bottom line. So what do you think about Bitcoin's latest run? Will it continue? Let me know in the comments. FYI, this information is for educational purposes only and is not to be considered investment advice. Please consult your licensed financial advisor before making any investment decisions. If you want to learn how to invest, click the link up here or in the description. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. <laughs> <laughs>